Yeah. All right. First rule in film is uh, where we find Larry Stenneback. He is in R&D, and we bring him up from the basement once a week to talk about all the new technology that uh, he has found and invented. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, McGraw. Good morning, t- Kelly. Good morning. You're, you're talking about everyone's got one. It's the thermostat mm-hmm. on the wall and the programmable thermostat and how to save energy is the topic today. It you is. have a solution. I do. And this might be a solution that's familiar to a lot of your listeners. Um, it's a, I'd say it, it kind of a, all this revolves around something called the connected home. And in this year, I think really more than years past, you're starting to see a huge push from multiple manufacturers to create devices that replace the dumb devices that are in your house. Um, you know, last tech segment, for example, we talked about the Ring Video Doorbell. Right. It's, an ex- it's a doorbell replacement for your home. So you're seeing more and more of these. So one company uh, that you hear a lot about is Nest. Uh, it's a company actually owned by Google now. They were purchased by Google. Um, and their big product that's now in its third generation, uh, so I know some of you out there have it, is the Nest Thermostat. Yes. I heard that Nest wasn't as good a- as some of the other ones. Uh, you know, I, I've had really good luck with them, okay. uh, but I think at the end of the day, there's going to be other products that are competing with us, too. Okay. Because really, it's about taking, in this case, your thermostat, which, you know, if you're lucky, you have a, like a Honeywell thermostat, which right. kind of has an, all the new new design, which allows you to program it, allows you to do some stuff with it. But realistically, it's pretty dumb, and it requires a lot of manual entry in order for it to do interesting things. Right. The advantage of something like a modern connected Nest thermostat is that it learns your habits without you doing anything. Uh, so it, it learns when you're home and when you're not home based on not only your input to the device, but motion detection. Mm. Uh, it learns where you like your temperature to be set at night and during the day just by you doing it. And so after a while... <laughs> it's like following it you. It is. Well, think about it. After a while, it knows, okay, you're, you're, no one's at home. You're off at work. There's no reason to have the AC blasting in your house. Right. Mm-hmm. So it adjusts that. Or at night, it might know, hey, you want the AC to be a little bit higher Mm -hmm. so it turns cranks the ac up all without you doing does it know this because of the gps on your phone and it knows when you're home well it knows a couple things it has ir motion detection in it so anything around the nest it kind of knows when people are moving around Mm -hmm. uh but beyond that it's wi-fi connected so it not only knows uh if people are around but it knows your weather uh it actually knows the local weather like here in st louis if you have one at home so it kind of takes that into account too Plus, it has additional smart features that your normal dumb thermostat doesn't have. For example, right as your AC turns off, the the internals of the AC are still cool. So it can keep your fan running a little bit longer, even with the AC off, to take advantage of that power savings. (laughs) So at the end of the day, not only is it saving you power by adjusting your thermostat, but it has all these little tricks to try to save a little more money. All right. My question is, as a pickup on your dog, if you're not at home and if your dog's at home... That's a great question. Mm. Uh, I think basically where you're going to mount your thermostat and where the IR is, Mm -hmm. is probably not looking kind of at the ground. It's probably looking a little higher. At least Mm -hmm. that's how I would design it. But I don't have a dog at home, so I can't answer that for sure. (laughs) All right. That's the Nest thermostat. It is. And it's $249. So it's a little bit pricey. But after a year, two years of actually using this, you could potentially recoup those costs. All right. What else is there? Uh, Well, one of the Nest's other projects is uh, called the Nest Protect. And this one might seem a little odd, but this is a replacement for your fire alarm. And it's actually a modern fire alarm that also has CO2 uh, detection and mm. smoke detection in it. So it's got a lot of really high-end sensors. Uh, and, and you know, at first when I heard about this, I thought, do I really need this? This is right. kind of ridiculous. I already have one. Why yeah. do I need one? But the difference between this, which is a $99 fire and, and CO2 detector versus a $5 one that's generally in your house, um, is really control and, and kind of ease of mind. Like... Uh, you know, you see your five dollar one's a little red blinking light. Does that mean mm-hmm. it's out of battery? Does that mean it's 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 good? Does that mean it's on? It's working? This allows you to check that at any time, so you can go on your phone, see the battery, see how it's doing. One other thing is, instead of just immediately blaring, say if you're cooking something in the kitchen, it gets a little smoky, and your fire alarms start going off, this actually talks to you. It has a nice, pleasant voice that comes out and says, "Hey, we were sensing some smoke." Well, or in this case, we're sensing some smoke in the in, in the kitchen. And if if you have your app handy, you can just wave that away instead of it going immediately to alarm, which then could automatically notify the fire department and other things like that. The roof. I think the roof. The roof is on fire. fire. Prob- <laughs> exactly. It'd probably let you know just like that. I really think one of the coolest things about this is actually a really kind of dumb feature. And because they're on your ceilings or on your walls, at night what it does, it uses the motion detections it has as a night light that's intelligent. So as you walk by it, it lights up the I area. I that one in the bathroom. And as you leave, it kind of goes dim. <laughs> I like so that one. So it's a really that neat idea. Cool. 
Yeah. Uh, all right. That's the and and then there's one more. Well, one more is called the Nest Cam, and this was actually Drop Cam that got acquired by Nest, and now they're calling it the Nest Cam, really original name. Uh, and really, what this is is just uh, video, high definition video cameras and security cameras around your house. For years, that's been a really, really complex, and you had to go buy a whole bunch of big stuff. This, and we actually use these here around the office. These are you plug into the internet. You, and you set them in you where you want, and it's pretty much done. Now, d- d- this camera is one hundred ninety nine dollars. Does it yes. can you it, does it record? It has a cloud recording service that you can subscribe to, kind of like the Ring Video Doorbell did, or right. you can actually just view it from your phone. Uh, another nice thing about it too is it has a microphone and a speaker in it as well. So, say if you're using it as a baby monitor, or even just to you know hmm. uh, watch the kids if they're doing something you don't want, you can you can yell at them remotely uh, and tell I, them not to. I bought this for my sister and her husband as a wedding present uh-huh. or as a not as a christmas present a couple years ago and my sister hates me because she says i'm going home to 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 take care of the of the dogs she goes home and lies down and takes a nap and her husband <laughs> Watches her take a nap, and he's like, "What are you doing lying on the couch?" So she like puts a book in front of the camera so that he can't see her taking a nap. <laughs> she's like, funny. "She's like, McGraw, I hate this. this. Is the dumbest thing in the dangers world. dangers of the connected home." There you go. All right, so, so that's all Nest, and those yes. are all different prices, uh, and you can get that at any the big Best box Buy, store, any, Amazon, any of that jazz, any, any of that <laughs> stuff. All right, all right. That's Larry Stenneback, ladies and gentlemen. He is uh, from R and D. Now get back into the basement with uh, your lab coat on and yes, uh, work on something for next week. He's from Palapitus and First Rule Film and Technology. Larry, thanks for checking in. Thanks, guys. And uh, off the air here, behind the scenes, this is this is what it sounds like. This isn't working. Larry, <laughs> Larry, I need your help. So that's, that's right. That's you what they're doing. You get a lot of that. That's a lot of a lot of calls for Larry around here. Eight twenty-seven, big five fifty, KTRS.